Hi everybody. Welcome to uh, Unprepared Geeks, Smart Bears bi-weekly podcast about what's happening in the world of quality from the perspective of testers, developers, and operations people out there. Uh, my name is Nicholas. I'm Eric. I'm Henrik. I'm Henrik as well. And today we'll be discussing uh, two current topics, uh, pretty interesting ones, I think. Do our usual Mary Boyne kill. Uh, let's see what happens. Let's get started straight away. First topic, and uh, the name of this topic is I Told You So. Because if you remember the uh, uh, what's going to happen during 2013 uh, yeah. episode, yeah. I said that uh, a well-known API will fail and, and kill the web. That didn't quite, quite happen, but... Okay. Hardly, a little. Yeah. So, yeah. No, this is just the beginning. Yeah. Uh, this is just the start. Uh, but so Facebook, uh, Facebook's API died, and took uh, CNN, HuffPo, and a few other sites with it. Um, and uh, well, so the, and, and uh, uh, on SmartBear, on the SmartBear blog, there is a post called "Facebook uh, Plugin Crashes." The party is defensive coding the solution. And uh, Ben Austin at SmartBear uh, comes up with a couple of uh, ideas on how you should, you know, protect less, yeah, protect yourself or lessen mm. the dependencies. And they are <coughs> make sure you're using the latest third part APIs that are non blocking or asynchronous, limit as much as possible third party calls from your mobile site. Turn off third-party content when they're under heavy load, and code defensively so you can gracefully take another pass when the first one fails. The question is, do we agree? Is this enough? Uh, yeah, I can. I can agree. Yeah. Uh, is it enough? I don't know, but uh, I think you should. Uh, you know, when when you're relying on actual services as opposed to maybe like 10, 20 years ago, when it was more more like static code yeah. that you had yourself done. It's of course you have to realize that it's not a, like a static thing that will always be there and respond at the same rate. I'm thinking uh, I can't help myself but think more of a performance perspective. Yep. Like yep. like when you load a page, maybe it's not that often that APIs like Facebook go down yep. uh, since it's a very big and major one. But like performance wise, when you're having a lot of those APIs, if you don't do the calls asynchronously, then your your the whole performance of your page will be affected when yes. they have heavy loads. Yep. Yeah, I think it's so funny, actually. Mm -hmm. The horror that we actually have to be developers to develop something. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> hello. <laughs> this, these things have always happened on, in one way or another. Yeah. Why would the web and the mashup uh, thingy, imagingy be any different? It's mm -hmm. just that it's slightly simpler to get it just up there. It's easier to do wrong these days. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I don't know. Maybe mm -hmm. it's just too easy to do to do the initial stuff mm -hmm. and then to get the little five extra percent that is actually going to prevent these kind of things it's difficult i don't know i'm, I'm not uh, super savvy in, in the web like how you make a proper javascript web app but yeah. but i mean still it's development yeah and i guess i mean and uh, it's i can see like uh, being a new if you want to create a new site or whatever maybe you don't have an, uh, too much experience in, in developing sites before um, I mean, if you go out to look for tutorials how to integrate with Facebook or uh, Google or whatever, uh, they will give you the uh, the happy pass to say. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm sure they won't like tell you like, ah, oh, this is how you should uh, defend yourself if the service goes down. But uh -huh. they will just provide you like how to integrate. Mm. Yes. It seems so easy. It's just a copy paste that code and you're done. So. Yep. And that's probably how you do it. On and also, you yeah, copy and paste and you. Yeah, done. exactly. And um, I think it's um, uh, it's also as you say that. Maybe many people have this vision that some APIs are so, or, so, or uh, uh, services are so big that they really can't go yeah. down. Too like, big to fail. Except yeah. too big to fail. Like yeah. Facebook, Twitter, Google, yeah. always oh, yeah. they're always uh, uh -huh. available. Yeah. So yeah. I'm not either on the, on the like uh, front end side doing JavaScript, but but it feels like it. It, it feels like a lot of uh, those sites are made up. <coughs> you know, if you look at the imports they're doing. Yeah. Like the, the script you're just importing, like a bunch of libs and a bunch of jQuery plugins, and then we need this bootcamp from Twitter and just mash it all together. And 
and then combined with different browsers, it's so hard to know what kind of asynchronous calls are being done. And like, mm. and I don't think uh, a lot of times I think the, the those developers are not maybe the like the the ones that are most experienced or mm -hmm. theoretical in distributed programming. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. they're mostly like focused on something else, like mm -hmm. front end stuff. It's yeah. Front end stuff usually don't have anything to do with distribution or, or like a synchronous. And I think another reason might be there, there's, uh, I mean, today's a huge pressure, uh, uh, usually for sites to be as social as possible, right? Mm -hmm. To integrate with as many social services as possible. Yeah. So that means that every social service you add to your site increases this uh, dependency yeah. depth or what do you yeah. want to call it. So yeah. that's also a, a problem. Increasing dependencies and also in, in terms of load times. Because everyone has a little bit of mm, Yeah, exactly. Mm. So that might also be a, a, a problem in this case that you you have to be like on every side. You have to integrate. You have to like buttons to every service yeah. out yeah. there. So mm. yeah. we think we had a problem with uh, before all of this uh, Facebook and integration, like with ad networks, like yep. because they wanted to load first. I think mm -hmm. they wanted to. You know, you couldn't load up a page completely unless the the ad services loaded first mm -hmm. because I don't know. You want to they add that they want to expose the ads, and then like some sites uh, had serious performance loss because of the ad networks being slow. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. So could they have tested themselves out of this uh, problem? Sure. I mean, they could have avoided the crashing if the third-party integration yeah. crashes. That, yeah, I've, yeah, I think this turns it back into another, even older episode. Uh, oh, I'm prepared geeks mm -hmm. like the the monkey. What do you call it? Chaos yeah. monkey. Yeah, Chaos monkey. Yeah. 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 Like just uh, yeah. all day. You should have like a. You should have like a chaos dot js yep. that like <laughs> see that scavenges no, searches agree. for I all agree. the external like domain mm -hmm. names and, and just it, uh, yeah. yeah block them like a. Yeah. Like so yeah, yeah, random times. Mm -hmm. yeah. That would that'd probably a good strategy. Yeah. Chaos testing. I agree. Which is you know guerrilla testing on steroids. Yeah, I, I agree. Mm. Um, okay, moving on to the next topic. Uh, as uh, people who watch this podcast has re maybe realized, we're fond of Agile. And on tech, well, excellent site, by the way. Uh, there is a, a, an article called Hiring Agile Developers, Three Often <coughs> Neglected Skills. And what it's about is basically that when we, you're moving into Agile, maybe the profile for uh, people, developers, testers, and operations people out there. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the, the needs, or the pr uh, skill profile might actually be changing. There are other things th that are important. And uh, the guy who writes the article takes up three. Uh, the ability to work with others, uh, the ability to have adhere to good naming conventions, and third, uh, to be interested in continuous learning. Uh, so, what do you guys do? You guys think first of all about those three? Were they the right ones? <laughs> I'm not sure <laughs> about the name. No, I'm when sure. I read the naming, I was like, naming of what? Like the name of the people? Oh, the name of class? Oh, yeah. Okay, how do you name things? Well, I, I guess it's important, but it doesn't feel like one of these three, like big, three rocks you should yeah. have. Like you should name your classes. In a good way, it's it's really maybe important. maybe yeah. he, they thought it more like as as a, as a developer you have more collaborative uh, ownership of stuff. So mm -hmm. maybe you you have to think more how how you name stuff in general, yeah. not just class, but maybe like how you name your domain uh, mm -hmm. objects or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, having pe other people in 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 consideration when you're doing your everyday work. Mm -hmm. but I agree. It was very strange. Yeah. <coughs> but maybe maybe he wanted to write or she like documentation. But yep. then you know documentation is almost like documentation is code is getting kind of uh, I feel like it's getting kind of a uh, uh, a bad practice almost like some people think that if you document your code too much you should really refactor or name your methods the right thing. So maybe that was like he was typing documentation there, like, ah, scrap that yeah. naming of uh -huh. things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think, like, working together with others is, uh, or for I think it goes for everyone, not just Asia developers, mm -hmm. but but uh, it, it's, it becomes very um, crucial to, to, be, to have social skills when you're an Asia developer because you. <coughs> you have to, I would say, you have to be very humble when you're an Asia developer because 
normally you work in a team uh, which doesn't have this classical uh, hierarchical uh, structure and you don't have and you have the different uh, skill sets yep. but yet you're supposed to be one team uh, where you're uh, like equals yep. Really. Yep. But, but so that, that really like uh, requires you to to be humble to uh, to respect others to not to take things to to uh, personally if somebody else like uh, goes into your area of expertise or whatever yeah. so and that that i think that's that's always the thing i have a bit problem with agile mentality because i don't think they concern that enough mm -hmm. it's just many times it's just supposed to happen they they don't really have a the social game or what social yeah exactly the, the social interaction like how to uh, to minimize the risk of uh, uh, conflicts and yeah, that uh, yeah, yeah. it's uh, and it's it, because it's really hard. I mean, yeah. we all know situations where they yeah. have worked, uh, where they, don't, they haven't worked, where like mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. um, doesn't uh, really um, click and uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's yeah. it but can really you can really uh, make the whole team. Uh, perform very badly if, yep. if there are some agree. constraints yeah. within the tree. But, but is uh, this, uh, these uh, social skills, <coughs> are, they, are they like any more advanced than, for example, what you have in in the Classical. schools, like in schools, like where you where you just get along with your pals during during breaks, or is is there something extra that uh, that you can't learn from just growing up? I mean, like. I think there is something. Yeah, there's one said too, because... There, there's um, one but thing. Say, isn't, wouldn't that imply that there is something wrong with the rest of the world then? <laughs> because we think that this is more social and better, or... No, I think there is something, something extra, because like, when you get along with your pals during break, and, and during like, coffee breaks on our like, pre-agile or not agile <coughs> work, work team, then you, it's like, uh, you don't have to... You don't have to... I mean, if you're really uh, shy, you don't have to say no. This is wrong. Yep. You don't have to say like I don't. No, I don't. I don't agree with you. I don't like that movie. Yep. Because if you're shy, it might be more comfortable to to not say it. But if you're like In I don't manager, like this yeah. code, then it's much more serious because I think this is a bad practice. Then it's like you have to say it. Th it's your you job can, to say. You can take a it's your, yeah, it's your job, and I think. Uh, and of course, like the main question being, it d does agile uh, environments require more social skills? I think yeah, that's pretty obvious. Of course, it doesn't mm -hmm. because, like, in if you're not working agile, you can just like, oh, you know, this guy, he he's he's really, you know, he's talented at all, but he he just like a little bit hard to work with. So mm -hmm. we just put him in this corner, and then we have some proxy guys, you know, managers just, you know, getting the information. <laughs> and we give him his own project. Yeah, yeah um, exactly. And it yeah. works. It kind of works at a big company well, uh -huh. if you're not working agile. Yeah. But that doesn't work in, that wouldn't work here. No, and that's something we, we, we've been talking about when we recruit people here, is that we talk about that uh, working in an agile team is not for everybody. If you don't feel you have the humility because you need that, mm. or the social skills, or uh, have the strength to speak up when you don't like stuff, uh, you shouldn't start working for us mm. because it, it it is very, it's very rewarding, but it's also very it's uh, it's a constant effort. And just the way we say just it, uh, just to be clear, huh? we do not compromise on technical skills either. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but what we sense. say is that, uh, and here's what we say here at Smartbear, we work naked. Because it's it's so intense and it's so uh, it's constant interaction oh. with other people. It's, it's still, all the technical skills are needed, but it's uh, if if somebody has a bad day, the the, the entire social structure uh, is affected. Mm. Yeah. And it's also rewarding. It's fantastic because when somebody ha is in a good mood, mm. he pulls the entire team with mm. him. So uh, they're also really naked occasionally. Yes. <laughs> yes. So uh, yes. So you picture us naked because that's how we are <laughs> on a daily basis. Okay, uh, this brings us into uh, uh, into Mary Boink Kill. Uh, th so this is a section where we have three uh, subjects and we choose which one we should marry, which one we would like to we find sexy and would like to boink, and which one we don't like at all uh, uh, and just kill it. So the first one is when you have new people coming in which which is uh, which one do you want to marry boy and kill 
high people skills, high expertise in the given subject, which could be uh, as a tester, you're good at testing, as a developer, you're good at whatever coding, uh, or high process skills, that is follow the standards where we've agreed that this is, should be our naming conventions and so on. Mm. People skills, expertise, or process skills. Who wants to start? I can go. Yeah. Um, even though I like uh, like um, agile and processes, I, I think uh, that's not really necessary. Mm -hmm. That's not the foundation, so I'll kill that. Uh, I'll marry the, the people skills because I think that's the real foundation and uh, I'll, I'll point uh, the expertise because yeah. I think as you say, you need expertise as well. It's not uh, enough that you like uh, are a really good team that having a good time, you have to to know your stuff, mm. otherwise uh, mm -hmm. things won't happen. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I agree. I was going to say the same thing actually. Uh, the process, uh, just something to add uh, about the process thing. Uh, I agree it's not, it's the least important and, and the thing with the process is if I have someone working on my team which is horrible on, on, with the process, I can and my teammates can and the scrum master can kind of guide that guy or, or girl. Yeah. Like, Okay, now now you should do this. Now you know, go there, go there, do that. Do, now we have this. It's it's not optimal, but it's easier than coding for that guy or or uh, like social interactions. Horrible. Like if, yeah. if it doesn't work in in in, I mean, in the long and, run. Yeah, and and even though like we have this uh, kind of standardized uh, processes like Scrum, for instance, yeah. no uh, no Scrum uh, um, process is identical to another. I mean, I've seen at, at least perfect, five or yeah. ten different versions of Scrum, so, yeah. so that's, that, that's the thing. I don't think that you can really have that. So you may know the basics, but, but it still won't be exactly how you mm -hmm. used to work. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, pretty much the same, I guess. Uh, although <coughs> this, this functional families also are families. <laughs> so <laughs> possibly I would eventually switch the other ones, because you, you, uh, after, uh, after some time you might just get along and then <laughs> you rely on each other's skills for, <laughs> for communication. I don't know. <laughs> or lack of communication. Or lack of communication. You rely, on, fine you rely on Hank not telling me when something <laughs> yeah, happens. Yeah, that could work Part too. of the process. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> So I don't know. It's uh, it's sad though that uh, why do you feel we have to make this distinction? <laughs> like, uh, can't you be all three? <laughs> is it impossible? Yes, it is impossible. Uh, maybe I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I actually would like to change it. Uh, oh. I would like I can I, I I have the highest respect for expertise in your own domain, and uh, social skills. I'm kind of fond of weird people. Uh, you know that that the, the the guy who sits in the corner muttering for himself. I, I kind of like that guy. Uh, it kind of brings spices up your everyday life. So I, I still think it's very important, and I think the humility part you talk about is yeah. super important. Uh, but I, I I'm yeah, I still like expertise. When you see a good tester, uh, just looking at you know look at the new feature and they fi know exactly where to find the bug mm. that, that's it's beautiful um but uh yeah i would kill the process as well process. Uh, yeah, just one other thing on social skill i think it's uh, important to, to note that even though you should you just have sco uh, social skills and you know, we're trying to be a convenient team that doesn't mean that we should all be equal in that sense. Yeah. I definitely think it's a huge asset to have a different kind of personality. Yes. You have the uh, you have the weird one, you have the shady one, you have the silent one, mm -hmm. and all yep. that. So, so, yeah, so that's when, when I you think it, equal, it's uh, important to yeah. to point out that it's like a, like a, I don't know like a soccer team, whatever. It's not you can't just have all forwards or yeah. whatever. Yeah. No, but but <laughs> exactly. yeah, exactly. You but have to have these different roles. It's not but together. You have to be able to work. But being an introvert doesn't mean you're you're <coughs> having lack of social skills. Yeah, no, no, you're, it's like just like a flavor. You like, say it's how you it. communicate yeah. and work. Uh, with I don't know. Matters, so. I don't know. People that always have to talk to think that mm. that might not be the best way either. Like. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. Um, I'd like to thank you for watching. Uh, I would like to adv uh, uh, give you an advance notice. Please look next time. We have a very exciting announcement coming up. 
It's me and me. Mm. Hank, we're getting married. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know. yeah, we, no, no, but honestly, we do have an exciting <laughs> announcement coming up uh, in two weeks. Uh, so I think everybody should tune in. Uh, you can follow us uh, on Twitter at SmartBear or just use the hashtag UnpreparedGeeks. I'm Nicholas. I'm Eric. I am Henrik. And I'm Henrik. And well, that's it for today. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.